나한테 전화 온거 없었어? 없었는데요. 진짜 없었어? 네. 네. 알았어. 나가봐. 뭐야. 나쁜 자식. 잘 있냐는 안부 전화 정도 해야 되는 거 아니야? 진짜. 아니 아무리 생각이 없어도 그렇지. 아 그렇게 큰 사업을 네 마음대로 경쟁을 해? 사업이 장난이야? 그리고 너저 회의실에서 그게 무슨 태도야? 너 상무로서 보여줄 행동이야 그게? 할아버지도 보셨잖아요. 다들 잘못 잡아먹어서 안 달인데 어떻게 해요 그럼? 아니 그러면 그 사람들이 너 이뻐해 줄줄 줄 알았냐? 너 보루도 없고 책임감 없는 행동 그 사람들이 앞으로 더 주목할 거야? 아니 이런 상황에서 어떻게 내가 강산을 너한테 맡긴다고 할수 있어? 제가 언제 회사를 맡겠다고 했어요? 뭐? 뭐야? 할아버지 저 회사 맡을 생각 추워도 없어요 할아버지께서 출근하라고 하셔서 한 거지 저 회사 따위에 관심이 없다고요 아니 그러면 앞으로 너 어떻게 할 거야? 이 할비 죽고 나면 은이 강산을 너 어떻게 할 거야? 어, 왜 그런 거 저한테 부르세요? 아저씨한테 주든가 어? 그 수학 그 기집애한테 주든가 마음대로 하시라고요 저 관절 테니까 야 해라 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 아. And I know today is supposed to be short video day ish, but today's the last day of September. Today's the last day of September, and sometime in September, I made a promise to a one of our Foxes. I said, you know, he asked me, so when are you gonna finish up How to Ruin Dark? Are you ever gonna do it? I, and I said, soon, sometime in September. And it's the last day of September today, so I need to do this. I need to do this. I don't like to break my promises, right? I need to do this. I need to. So, we're gonna do the How to Rune Dark today. The Dark Net 4 and Net 5, right? We're gonna do that today. And let's get started because it's gonna be a long one. Because, you know, these How to Rune videos generally are long. Let's take a look. Kamiya. Man, I once knew a porn star. <laughs> By the name of Kamiya. Ah, and ah, you guys be googling that right now. Ah, no, no, no. I know where the name Kamiya comes from. It's not a porn star. It's just my memory. It's she's the correct. She's like if you are if you watched the, the anime Samurai X or Uroni Kenshin before. For all of you people who watch anime, right? You will know that there is a girl there by the name of. God damn it, I forgot her name. I forgot her name, but her name, she has this dojo. Okay, and the dojo is called Kamiya Kashin. Dojo. Whatever. Fuck it, I'm weird. <laughs> Alright, Dark Nine Tail Fox. Dark Nine Tail Fox. Okay, let's take a look at it. Attack type monster. Let's see, let's see. Will of the Wisp. Alright, no, you can just ruin her. Like all the Nine Tail Foxes, right? You can pretty much ruin, like. Revenge for fucking MB10, but if let's say you want to use this thing for, you know, like arena, look, it's a 100%. Wait a minute, this this attack has a 100% critical rate against target under sleep effects. It looks 100% critical rate, and if you and if you crit, you stun. I mean, okay, picture this. Target is asleep. He already lost one turn because he's asleep. Because let's say you use this one. And chance, right? Puts the enemy to sleep for two fucking turns. Alright? So you sleep him for two turns. At the end of two turns, you hit him and you quit. Because he's asleep. And he's, that's three turns of CC, but you most likely will kill him by then. You can win a standard attacker. Alright? For Kamiya. You can go Violent Blade, Rage Blade, or even Revenge. 
All right, even revenge. If you're going NB10, I'm sorry, but I would go. You know, personally, if I were to use her for arena, I would go either violent or will. I mean, violent or rage. Attack CD attack and the offset. I would use will runes, right? Because she being dark, she will be under the constant aggression of Bella and Darian and shit like that. And it's really nice if you have will runes. I trust me, I use will runes like on you know you on a lot, and I love it because it saves lives. All right, it saves lives of squishies like this, this girl here. So it will be standard attacker runes with either the will offset, right? All right, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> we spent so much time on Camille. Alright, Tilasha. I mean, today we're gonna learn a lot of new names because we rarely know the names of the Dark Awakened Nat 4s and 5s, right? It's like a leader skill, it's the standard. Like all the, 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 the what's, what are these called, by the way? <laughs> all the Delphoys. <laughs> all the Undines. Yeah, Undines. All the Undines have a defense leader skill, right? So she has a revive. Now, this is good if you're running, like, say, if you are running like, you know, like healer type of team and it revives the dead ally with low HP but full attack bar meaning if that guy is a healer or if let's say he's an uh, attacker that can change the game this spell is really useful it is, okay let's see, what else um, I think just rune her I think just rune her like speed, HP, HP I don't think you want to rune critical hit rate just for glancing hit debuff just room like speed, HP, HP. You can go like Violent Will, Violent Revenge, and just, yeah, speed, HP, HP. Or even Endure, get some resistance up. Hmm? I, wouldn't ru I wouldn't ruin Quit Rate for any of the Undines, alright? I wouldn't. That's just me. Some people say they like it, like, you know, the, like my team has a freeze. Maybe my team is worse because it's a freeze, right? But for this one, I don't think so. I don't think Glancing Hit is worth ruining Quit for, alright? Ashubel. Ashu! <laughs> Ashubel. Right? This is a, this Like she has the same leader skill. He has he fuck man, I know. He has the same leader skill as the light sylph, like dungeon attack speed thing. And he puts things to sleep for two turns, which which is useful in stuff like TOA Heart as well. It's pretty useful. But other than that. Like it's a pretty shit monster, <laughs> right? Out of that, I don't, I don't think that sleep is that. I mean, like, it, it, this is like you know, Water Mermaid has a sleep that's irresistible. It's irresistible. This one has a chance to be resisted, right? So, anyway, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I would just rule as like standard attack runes, but to be honest, in all honesty, I wouldn't use him at all unless you you're gonna use something that can synergize with the AoE sleep for two turns, right? Unless you can use something that can synergize with that, I don't think it's worth at all, right? But I would just be with standard attack, all right? Because it's an attack type. All right, Icarus, Icarus, Icarus. It's E instead of U, so I don't know how you want to pronounce this, but you can pronounce it Icarus, yeah. I cares too. <laughs> I cares for you. Right, increase the resistance of ally monsters. Dark. Right, it's the same as Lumi. All right, steals life. It's oh yeah. This is like the Dark Arnold, right? The Dark Arnold with like weaker HP because she's an attack type monster. She doesn't have as much HP as Arnold, even though this the skill here is the same as Arnold, right? Pretty much. It's an Arnold that heals for like shit. It's ten percent heal. Anyway, even though she's an attack type. You will want to rune her with like triple HP or speed HP HP type of build, right? You would want to rune like either either despair or violent, right? So either despair violence, speed HP HP or triple HP, get some speed substats. However, you want to work around it, right? I don't think that you really need accuracy for this. You don't need accuracy at all, zero, right? So I would go violent or despair. I would go either will or endure or re not really revenge. Unless you're running despair, then you go revenge because you have a chance to stun on revenge. Okay, so I care. That's I care for you. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's see who, what do we have next. Is is the L? God, this is pretty hard to pronounce, right? I like. I mean, even though we all know that the light sister is, you know, more useful, but the dark one, I don't know. It just has. It just seems way more sexier, doesn't it? Doesn't it? 
I mean, I'm not racist or, you know, or anything, but I don't know. Like, okay. <laughs> Alright, defense 33%. Ah, uh, okay, not bad. Um, Swarm of Bats dealing damage proportionate to max HP. Attacks all enemies. Pretty good for. Oh, pretty good, huh? Pretty good for like TOA and shit. Or against tank teams because it's like max HP damage AOE. I don't know the multiplier though. Actually, I could check it out, but I'm just fucking lazy too. Anyway. Anyway. Standard attacker. Alright? Standard attacker runes. I believe that you can go Violent Revenge, Attack, CD Attack. Standard Attacker, by the way, if you're new here, Standard Attack means Standard Attack means Attack, Crit Damage, Attack, alright? Attack, Crit Damage, Attack, get some speed, substats, Violent Revenge, even. Re I like Revenge on this girl, alright? Because she gains 50% attack gauge if you sleep something on Revenge. And that's a big boost, okay? That's a big boost. Where are we at now? Leapley, standard, bomber, fatal focus. I know, you're thinking, oh, I can revenge for like good, like good damage, man. Or if you can ruin attack, no, just, you know, you might think like ruining Mr. Attacker, no, just ruin standard attacker. This is the fucking, this is the best bomber in the game. It's the best, I mean, I, I mean, if I had a, I don't, you don't know what I would do for Leapley. He's the best, bo I love, I like, I think Leapley's the best bomber in the game. He's like the Black Lucian, man. I mean, it's not the Black... <laughs> it's not Lucian, but you know what I mean? You look at him, I, you know, he's just really good. Alright, Fatal Focus, Attack, Attack, Attack. Or Fatal Will, and try to get accuracy from substance, right? Because being dark, having Will wounds, I'm gonna stress this again, is a good thing, okay? Alright, next up. Let's see, this one. Aluna, Standard Attack Runes. Standard Attack Runes, Rage Blade, or... You know, violent blade, violent. I don't think you want to go. I don't think revenge is really the thing here. Rage blade, violent blade, violent will, rage will, attack with damage attack. Okay, let's move on. This one. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not. All right, let's try. Gelau, man. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know. All right, attack power thirty three percent. Look at this. You can run standard attack wounds, you can give him like revenge because he stunts on revenge. I think like violent, violent or rich, yeah. I know you're gonna hear this a lot. You know, I'm just gonna say standard attack wounds. Whether you want violent or rich, it really doesn't matter. It's up to your preference. Bethany, standard, like Bethany, standard attack. But I would go violent. I would go violent because, you know, you can reduce the cooldown on Shadow Arrow and you get more chances to ignore defense. So I would go violent for Bethany. Violent will, alright? Let's look at this. Run. Same. Same standard attack, right? But, but, you know me. I like going speed for anything that has speed scaling things. So I would go speed quick damage attack for run, alright? I would go speed quick damage attack for run, even though. Then again, this one. This one here skills with attack, man. It's not like it's not like Hua. It's not like Yen. This one also skills with attack, so it's really it's really, you know. I don't know. Maybe you can go attack with damage attack. It probably would be better because there are two skills that skill with attack, you know. I think both will do okay. Diaz. Violent revenge. Okay. Violent revenge, HP. Quick damage HP. That's how I would ruin Diaz. Grego. HP time. Let's see. Alright. Attack power increases if an enemy or ally dies. <coughs> okay, okay. I think I would go revenge. <coughs> Violent revenge for him. Or even despair. Because, because this one, like, it's an AoE, right? I don't know. I think violent revenge. Now the thing is, would you go attack, attack with damage HP, sort of hybrid, or do you want to go sort of like HP? I think I would go attack with damage HP, hybrid type of build for him, and go violent revenge, okay? Now, where are we? <laughs> I'm lost. Alright, how you pronounce this guy? Siege. Siege. I don't know, standard attack runes. <laughs> Alright, standard attack runes, let's move on. <coughs> violent revenge. 
every Kung Fu girl, Violent Revenge, attack with damage attack. Corona. Corona. Look at him. This is the one that, that, uh, I believe this is the one that, uh, uh, alright, I mean, it's sleep again. I mean, I know the childishest one and he uses it, but I don't know. I don't really know about that. I guess you can go like, uh, like a, inflicts damage proportionate to max HP. I don't know, do you think it, it's good? Like, can he be ruined like HP crit damage HP? Does it work? I'm, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure about this, but I think, I think I would ruin either as a support, like just as a support, like just to sleep people for, you know, but I don't like sleeping people in arena. I mean, maybe in TOA is this decent? I don't like sleeping people in arena. I think just kill them. <laughs> All right, just kill them. Right. Anyway, maybe you can go HP crit damage HP for him as well, or on 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 sort of like a, a rage or violent type of build, and it might work. Or you can go like speed HP HP type of build as well. You can go violent, or you can go rage. Should work. Let's look at this. Bering. <laughs> what is this? What is this? It's got a bomb with three Z's. It's supposed to sleep, right? Attacks all enemies, disturb the cooldown two turns. Okay. This one sucks, to be honest. It pretty much sucks. Yeah, it does suck. I don't like him. <laughs> he sucks. Alright. Uh, but anyway, if you really want to ruin him, I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. <laughs> Just give it a standard attack rule. Right? Standard attack rule. You can have some accuracy substance here and there, but he kind of sucks. This guy, Violent, Violent Revenge, right? Violent Revenge, or you can go like Violent Blade or whatever. I like this, I like Frenzy. I haven't had, had, had the opportunity to pull one. I mean, what are the odds, right? Run near, right? I like him a lot. I like this skill, I like, I like skills that give you, you know, that have chance, right? <laughs> you instantly recover a turn, wow. 25% chance, I like that. Damn it! All right, violent, violent blade, violent revenge, attack with damage, attack, or even violent will rule. Friggin'. Let's see. He's a support. Stun. All right. So I think you can go either violent. I think go violent. Seriously, violent. Just go violent. Like speed, HP, HP. Get some accuracy. I think violent revenge. Yeah, violent revenge. Yeah, violent revenge because it's a one-turn armor break. You know. Things with one turn armor break is that I run the things with one turn armor break have revenge on them. So violent revenge, speed HP HP for freaking. That's how I would root. Better. Oh man, this is not a good one. Revive, I mean, it's a revive. Hey, wait a minute, she has a revive, right? Yeah. So it's a heal, right? She has one heal that recovers HP and it's like a, it's like a Bella heal. This is a fourth, I mean, it's a three turn. I believe when you when you when you max up the skill is treated, it's a Bella heal and a revive as well. And look at this, it's another heal plus anti crit and immunity. Jesus Christ, this is really good. I like. I mean, I've said this before, but I like her a lot. I don't know. Plus, you know, it's like I like purple purple underwear, <laughs> like purple bras. Anyway, anyway, let's go violent with her, right? Let's go violent. Let's go speed HP HP. Yeah. Violent speed HP HP. Let's go. Should we go revenge? Maybe. Maybe violent revenge. Maybe violent will. Maybe violent endure. This should all work. Yeah. Speed HP HP. Alright. Where are we? Where are we? Where, 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 um, uh, Lynette. Ah, we've been to Lynette. Like, just, just, just go triple revenge on her. Bring her to NB10. Like, go triple revenge. Go triple revenge, although she's a defense type, you'll notice that nothing skills with defense, therefore you can just go like triple revenge, you can go like speed, crit damage, attack, or HP. Doesn't matter, this one will do good damage to the boss, but the rest is like kinda shitty. The rest of a kid is I mean yeah, there's HP recovery and shit like that, but the multipliers kinda suck. But this one does pretty decent damage to the boss, right? Alright, let's move on. Isabel, now 
And this death does not reset itself. This is a bug or it's intended, I don't know. But it doesn't reset itself. Meaning if you kill someone with endless death, it will not be instantly reusable again. Alright? That means you can't just endless death, endless death, endless death. You will recover again when the enemy dies, but it will be on cooldown. And someone else has to kill another enemy or an ally has to die and then you get endless death again. That's how it works. Anyway, standard attack wounds. And she's really nice. I like her a lot. I like... I don't know, she's just so, you know, really cool looking. Yeah, I would give her Violent Will or Rage Will, like Tanya. Hmm? Violent Will or Rage Will. Attack with damage attack. Let's look at it. Carl! Standard attack rules. Yes. Standard attack rules, but then again... You know, you, you don't really want to ruin a lot of crit rate for him. Because, I mean, this is an attack that is guaranteed to land as a critical attack. And it, it doesn't give a shit about Darien's. Right, it ignores all damage reduction effects. Man, it's pretty nice as well. So it's like, I would, I would like uh, either violent or rage, you know, and, and, and either revenge or will or endure. Either one. And I would give like attack, crit damage attack, but I wouldn't ruin so much crit rate because... I mean, he's self-buffing, that's one. And this one, this is like... Like, and this one lands as a crit always. So... I'm not so sure about about uh, you know ruining him crit rate. I wouldn't. I would give him like really shitty crit rate, like 30, 40 percent crit rate. I think that's enough for him. Han, he changed me type, huh? Did they change him around? I don't know. Anyway, attacks an enemy, treat them dealing lethal damage while being a HP type while having 780 base attack. HP type. It's like Perna. I mean Perna. I mean it's like so much HP and then he has good attack as well. Your attack bar recovers 25% for each strike that lands on a critical hit. Let's see. I think just rule standard attacker, seriously. Just rule like Rage Blade rules or, or Violent Blade rules, right? I think Rage Blade is better. Yeah, that's what I would do. Next up, where we get Trinity. Oh, we're in a net 5 land now. We're finally into net 5 land now. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Anything with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 <coughs> HP is an amazing monster. Just like Perna, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 HP. A lot of people are uh, under the misconception, right? That you need to ruin her HP. No, you ruin her, Trinity. Right? Standard attack rules. Rage Blade rules. Pair her up with Galia. Man, that's a lot of damage, right? Do it that way, alright? Rage Blade, okay? Do it. Just do it. Rage Blade, attack with damage attack. Where are we at? This guy. Ah, oh, my friend pulled this guy. Damn it. Grogan. Now, the, the, I heard that the multiplier on this is like 300-ish. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, just rules. Standard attack rules. Rage Blade, Violent Blade. You don't even need that much crit rate because this one always lands as a critical hit. Right? Um, I think the one that my Yudi has is not rune with a lot of crit rate. It's like with 50% crit rate only. So... My duty, I think, ruins him Violet, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, so Violent Blade, which... Or I don't think you want to ruin Revenge. I think Violent Blade or Violent Will and give, like, attack, crit damage, attack. Don't focus too much on crit rate substat. Jara. Jara is like the... She has, like, this one. Can't revive. <coughs> Can't revive if you kill. And it's fucking A. It's, it's not on a single target. Wait. Is it single target? Yeah, it's single target. It's like the Dark Rocky, right? It's like a Dark... Just standard attack rules, seriously. 1,000 attack base attack. Seriously. Man. Just, I mean, standard attack rules, right? Either Violent or Rage Blade uh, attack with damage attack. You can go Will rules as well because the fact that her being Dark and Bella and so on. I'm, re I'm repeating myself, right? The Zeratu. Violent Will, Violent Revenge, Attack with Damage Attack, right? You can get, like, give him 20,000 HP just to be safe. This guy, Cadiz, Cadiz. Um, I would just go Standard Attack rooms for this. Yeah, Standard Attack rooms. Let's move on. Gianna, Bomber. Alright, but she doesn't detonate bombs, right? Wow, this is the fucking, this is nice. It removes all beneficial effects and stunning. There is like, 
it's not like Praha, right? Praha has like a 90%, this is fucking 100% and it will stun you. It's so good. It's so good, but I would just give her like standard bomb boots. Like bomb boots, but then again, it's like a single target bomb. I don't know. I, I might even go like a... Like a sort of a violent, you know, violent or even... Hmm. It's, it's, it's really... How would you guys... I mean, I would... There's a, a few ways I want to ruin this because... I don't know, I feel that... I'm sorry, I'm having a little runny nose thing. I feel that oracles have this have this uh, passing time like just stuns you <laughs> I don't know I would ruin revenge either violent revenge yeah I guess violent revenge is the proper way to go <clears throat> or and just go attack 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 or even there's a, I don't know there's, there's a lot of ways that I want to ruin her I guess ruining her as a CC machine is better as, as a CC God, that's so hard to say as a crowd control machine is better I give her like violent revenge and give her like speed um crit rate HP or something like that I feel that that's better because bombs do stun you when they blow up this one stuns you and this one doesn't stun maybe if you give despair it will stun but there's a lot of ways to ruin her it really depends on what what you want her to do yeah so we'll leave this as it is <laughs> because it really depends there's not many of you that have her anyway if you have her, then you know you can. We can discuss it when you, when you, when you lay her out in the team that you want her to be in, right? Nikki, being dark, I feel that she lacks, you know, as compared to Anabel. To be honest, HP recovery is not as amazing as Armor Break. And even though she has a heal, like you know, uh, I'd go Violent Revenge. I would go like. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Well, you see, this one doesn't skill with HP though. A naval one. A naval skill. Like, you can just ruin her, like, attacker. Just make her an attacker, I guess. Yeah. Just ruin her, like, violent revenge, attack her damage attack, sort of, kind of thing. I don't like her that much compared to a naval. Ragdoll is, like, the dark. Oh, look. Increase the attack bar if an ally receives a critical hit. Okay. Okay. Damage of this. Okay. Okay, so either Violent Blade or uh, Violent Blade, yeah, Violent Blade, Violent. Let me see. Yeah, Violent Blade. Yeah, attack with damage attack. That's how I would move. Monkey. Max HP damage. Well, I don't know, man. Attacks and decrease. All right, this is the standard thing. Okay, okay. I think I would ruin like attack, like a hybrid type of build, like a violent. Re wait, do we want to go revenge? Yes, we want to go revenge. Like violent revenge, attack, crit damage, HP type of build, or attack, crit damage, attack, and try to get like twenty thousand, depending on your substance, right? That's how I would ruin. Like this one, <laughs> this one I would go like either violent revenge or violent. Yeah, most likely violent revenge or violent blade, and I would go like a uh, uh, defense, crit damage, defense type of build. Rahul, Violent Revenge Yeah, Violent Revenge Yeah, Violent Revenge, HP, crit damage, HP Yes, that would be, that's how I would do it Violent Revenge, HP, crit damage, HP Crake, Kraka Even though like Even though she's a HP type Is it, is it, is it can you use her as just a uh, HP, like a tank that does AOE armor break? You think that it's good? I think you just, I think it's 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 okay. You know, I think give her like violent. I'm sorry. Violent, vi violent with like resistance, like violent endure, and make her just like a tank. Like I know, like I have duties that have her and complain about her being shit. I think just ruin her. Like how you how you would ruin a reviver? She's a reviver that has AOE armor break. I don't see what's wrong with that. It's pretty good. Huh? Just give her like violent like will or violent some sort of resistance endure or even I would I would go revenge with that and just give her like speed HP HP. It's like be annoying. Just fucking armor break people. <laughs> just be annoying. Armor break people and then you are able to revive as well. I think that's pretty nice. Pretty decent. 
all this guy will yell. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> but, but anyway, anyway, anyway. I think standard attacker rules. But I don't like like her kit that much. But anyway, standard attacker rules, okay? Standard attacker rules. I don't think revenge is worth by the time. Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, let's go back. I don't think revenge is worth because glancing hit. I'm not big, not a big fan of revenge glancing hit, okay? So violent blade, attack crit damage stack for her. Anyway, Unsa. Unsa. I have a cutie that has this one as well. Steel is a beneficial effect and HP. Equivalent of 15% of, of everyone. Alright? Okay. Equivalent to 15%. So, how do you want to rule? How do you want to rule? I believe you. How do you ruin this? I would ruin either violent or despair. In fact, I would ruin despair. To be honest, I would ruin despair. Alright, because firstly. Firstly, this is like a. It's, it's like buff removal, right? It's buff removal, and this one is like blocks buffs. I would, I would ruin despair, really. Like despair or violent. I don't know. I'm torn between despair and violent. But I'm leaning towards despair because like how effective, you know, the stunts are with Pioneer. I feel like Pioneers have like innately sort of like a higher chance to stun you. That's how I feel, right? And revenge, for sure. Because you can revenge and sleep some motherfucker for two turns, and that's amazing, right? And I would go like triple HP or speed HP HP. Okay, Lydia. Let's see. <clears throat> I guess standard attacker runes would apply for her. Yeah, standard attacker runes. Veramos. <laughs> Are we really gonna talk about Veramos? <laughs> like I won't speed HP HP HP. Speed double HP violent. You know, you can go Violent Guard, Violent Nemesis, Violent Endure. They all work. They're all good. Alright. Even Violent Revenge is not bad. This one, Violent Blade, or even Violent Revenge. No, 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 no. Violent Revenge. Sorry. Violent Revenge. Attack with damage attack. Alright, you've seen him. One of my guildies has him. Alright. Sylvia. Man. This is so sexy. I mean, it's so sexy. Man, I like her a lot. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. I think, I think, like you know, you can use Sylvia for like Necropolis. If you do that, then you want to put like Violent Revenge on her. But if you use her in like Arena, I wouldn't go Revenge for Glancing Head. I would go like Nemesis or. Or even some sort of, you know, just just make her try, try to give her more turns because revenge is not your turn. This passive only procs on your turn, so you want to like give her some speed, HP, HP. Let her be moving as often as possible. That's how I would ruin Sylvia. Like speed, HP, HP. I would go violent. Anything else except for revenge because I, like, I, you know, this is, I would go nemesis or or even endure for her. Yeah. All right. All right. We're fine. Jesus Christ, We're, I mean, oh wait, I shouldn't be saying that, except, like someone was offended by that the other day. Alright, I'll try to cut down on those. Anyway, we're finished. I mean, I kept my promise. We're finished with How to Ruin Dark. And I finished it before September ends. <laughs> so I kept my promise. So let's do, I have one cute war. Let's do one cute war. And then we'll call it a day. Final Storm. I've never hit this guild before because, I mean... What happened this week is, alright, this happened this week. Last week we got first place. And then we got reset. Everyone else didn't get reset. I know we got reset. Our points got reset, like, you know, to 30% of what it was, and so did Cypher. I don't know who else, but it seemed like there were at least like 100 over people, 100, 100 over guilds, who didn't get reset. But anyway, this results in a sort of uh, mismatch kind of thing that we're, <laughs> we're matched up against a guild where I mean it's, it's they're like I don't know I've never been in this part of the <laughs> of the internet before <laughs> no anyway anyway it's good because we get to see some you know stuff that we don't normally see yeah we get to see stuff like you know stuff 
<laughs> Alright, hey, let's see, look at this skill. This this one here. Now, why don't we take a risk here? Go, I can, can I think, can I believe that my, 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 um, can I believe that my, what's that called? That my Chloe is gonna be faster? Yeah? So, if my Chloe is gonna be faster, I think, I think that we can just OG this. Yeah? I think we can OG this. We don't have to bring Mamir for this. Amir for this. Where am I OG? Wait, hang on a second. I know, I know, you're like, you, she's right there, you idiot. There, there. There we go. Alright, there my OG. Um, and then we can go Galen for this. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Um, Galen, 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 where? Galen should be somewhere after. There we go. Galen OG. Do I really need Chloe? Now, do I really need Chloe? Can I go with something else? I don't. Wait, hang on a second. Do I. Do I really need Chloe? I don't know. I don't know if I really need Chloe here. I'm not so sure about that. I can go. Oh, you know what? We're gonna go Chloe. And this one we can go Trevor and, and Tessarion. And, um. I think we can go. Do we need immunity? I think we want immunity because. Because Villa Jewel, we don't need a healer, right? Right? I don't know. Fuck it. Like, fuck it. Seriously. I don't think there should be a problem. I don't think that... Well, I don't know. Maybe I could be in for surprise. I don't know. Let's see. Um... Uh... This, this, this... What's his face? This, uh, Delphoi is freakish... Freakishly slow. Okay? It's freakishly slow that I want to do I want to do this I'm gonna kill this guy first all right I'm gonna kill Veramos first because Jesus Christ I don't want him removing debuffs and shit right now I'm gonna do this to get myself immunity just in case Veramos decides to you know jump me and stun three of us oh wow this Veramos has like no HP zero HP pretty much huh pretty what you, you see, like, Trevor is so squishy. I mean, I, I believe they stealth nerfed Trevor. Did you see that? Like, I believe they changed the way it worked. Like, I don't know, Trevor seems to, to take a lot more damage nowadays. I mean, in this case, it's a good thing because, you know, he didn't die. <laughs> he didn't die from that, but... Yeah, so Brawler's will now totally really just works that way. Like, if you, if you, um... If you hit him from full health, you're gonna kill him. But if you don't kill him, then he's... <laughs> he's gonna kill you, right? That's how it is. He's really super squishy now. I feel. I think they did something to him. He didn't seem to be that, you know, squishy before. Anyway, I ran triple will runes for this because, you know, if Bernard were to buff, and Tyrone were to freeze, and T Tower were to do the attack speed slow, I'd be fucked, right? That's why I use triple will runes. You know, in fact, I didn't need Chloe for this. I could have gone Mam Amir for this, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue. I don't think it's gonna be a, like I don't think it's gonna be an issue at all <laughs> because it's like a triple squishy lineup defense that he has, right? It's a triple squishy lineup defense. Like OG is enough damage. I don't need Amir for this. All right, let's let's look for another one. Let's see. Um, this guy is uh, let's do this baby face guy. Yeah, what's he got? Okay. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 whatever. I mean, we already won, right? We're already, sorry, sorry. Let me just check. Yes, we already won. We already won. We can do it. We, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Can we do the same thing here? You know what? I don't need Chloe for this. I don't need Chloe for this. I'm gonna go Amir for this. <laughs> because there's like 7 million mana combo. I have to use him. Okay? I have to. Don't, don't, you know. <laughs> I have to, I have to use him. Uh, what else? What else do we want to do here? You know, like, if you look at an all fire lineup, the most sensible thing would be, would be to bring a Ramagas. Or I'm gonna do this like proper. I know some of you are like, you know, I receive death threats every time I use one Magas, so let's not do one Magas. I want, like, whenever you see a full fire lineup, the most sensible thing would, would be to bring a Ramagas and bring something else, other things. Like, um, for example, in this case, in this case, I'm gonna go with, um, do I need immunity? Do I? Do I, do I need immunity? Yeah, because of the stun. So we'll bring immunity, all right? And we'll bring Ramagos. Now the, the next guy we could go with, either. 
uh, Praha. It doesn't matter. I mean, Praha will remove the buffs, or we can go with another kind of damage dealer. But let's say to play it super safe, we can go Praha, but I don't want to do that. That's too safe. Alright, alright, fine, fine, fine. I'll play it like super safe. Like, this is like the most sensible way to approach a full fire team. Like, you bring Ramagos, you bring protection for Ramagos, which means he won't have no armor break, right? And if he doesn't get armor broken, he's cool. As in, Ramagos is just. Like, it's really safe. You see? gonna survive that sucks Aman's gonna survive <laughs> pretty but he's pretty dead right he's pretty dead okay now what's wrong with this type of defense right there is no if you are not having immunity I mean Veramos is immunity Veramos doesn't if you have no Chloe right basically if you're running a Chloe less defense this is key if you're running a Chloe-less defense or, you know, besides Chloe, what else can protect you from damage? Like, void damage. Like, you know, remove any damage from you. Like, um, um, um Fedora. Fedora has, like, some sort of endurable... Um, no, I don't know, actually, not Fedora. <coughs> what else? Lima or something like that, right? If you're a Chloe-less defense, alright, you have to be fast. Or you will die. You understand? If you're a Chloe-less defense, you have to be fast. And that team wasn't fast enough. Let's do G Dragon. I like G Dragon. And for those of you who you know who follow Big Bang and things like that, let's do G G G Dragon. Wow, shit. I mean, it's all cool. Then then there's the Seek over here who seems just so out of place. All right, the Seek over here is like ah, uh, I don't even know why I'm here. <laughs> He's so out of place. He is. All right, let's see what what do we do here. We we we. We're gonna bring our OG team for the first one. It's gonna work. All right, it's gonna work. It's gonna, it's gonna. Uh, where were OG? OG, okay, right here. Amir, Amir. And uh, hey, where? Alien, okay. This one here, what do we wanna do here? What do I wanna do here? Um, it's a full fire team. And it's like, like we can kill Seek right off the bat. I think I just want to kill him right off the bat. I don't know. We'll bring a wind tank for this. I should have brought... I should rune out my Armada. And I will. Not today, but... After this, I should. I should. Yeah, Armada is perfect for this type of scenario. He can solo tank everything. Okay, never mind. This is a really... Uh, we're going to bring a chest soon. And we're going to bring... Protection. And we're going to bring... Trevor. Uh, do we need armor brick for this, actually? Um, uh, actually, I don't know. If, I, if we bring Trevor for this, it makes no sense. Because there are no AoE damage dealers here. They're all single target. They're all gonna attack you soon. Right? They're all gonna attack you soon. Makes no sense to bring a sort of a, uh, Trevor. It doesn't make sense at all. Zero sense. Nada. Um, let's bring Tassara. Right? Because he has no immunity. Right? Let's bring Tassara. And, uh,. Let's bring Chesung. But then again, I don't think I need... I don't think I need Belladrol. I believe we don't. I believe we can do this without Belladrol. We just killed Perna right off the bat. Alright, so I will use Tessarion. I will use Chesung. I will use something else. Um, I can go with Kumar. I can go with any... You know... A lot of things here. I should go with a water... Attacker. I mean, 
I, I normally I would go Theo Marsh. You know me, right? You know what? Why don't we just do it like I would normally do? <laughs> yeah, because because be yeah, just because, right? Just because it's for your points, right? <laughs> and I'm working on my next building. I'm working on the upgrade to my building. No will runes. I mean, we could have bombed this. We could have just bombed this. We could have bombed the second one as well. I didn't think about that, right? I know some of you are like, why don't you bomb him? Like, I, I forgot about it because, you know, I just forgot. Oh, dear God, fucking Chasun! Bitch! Now we got killed Chasun! And the OG just, just... The OG just killed fucking Lagmaron without... Damn it! Amir didn't even move. Oh uh, yeah, let's do this. This be a ditch as soon. All right. Oh, okay. Will runes. Fortunately, we didn't want to bomb this one because will runes on Rakan. So we straight up killed this guy. Oh dear God, we didn't. We did. Then we just killed this guy. Oh, we didn't. Oh dear, he's like. Oh my God, they have more HP than I thought. They, they. Yes, more HP. How much is he gonna do? It, eight thousand critical. Not exactly. Oh my god! Don't stop. Just die. Um, let's just kill this one first. Let's kill the Perna first. I mean, worst come to worst, this seat kills something, but not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Not today. Not today. Man, Rakan is really nice. If you can ruin a Rakan really well, I mean, I hope I get. Maybe I should use my stones for the Rakan cycle, huh? I'm kind of. I kind of like him. I like his raw damage output that he can do. We can do like thirty thousand on a Ramagos. I like that. That's it. That's it for the Guild Wars. All right, so that's all we have for today. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.